Hey water signs and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your Saturday, July 21st, 2018 love reading. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I'm going to do a couple different spreads, so hopefully it will um, reach out to more people. So if the first one doesn't fit, um, make sure you stick around and watch the second one. So the Ten of Wands just popped out. Some of you Maybe coming to the end of a cycle after a tower moment. All right, let's get started. Spirit Angels, what do our water signs need to know about the 21st of July? One more shuffle here. Cancer, you guys have the Hermit, Pisces, the Sun, Scorpio, the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Amazing Saturday for you guys so far. Your overall situation is the Four of Cups in the upright, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And your bottom of the deck is the Harfoot in reverse as well. Okay. So we'll get some clarifiers out here. Cancer males. Females. Pisces males, Pisces females, and Scorpio males, Scorpio females. Man, I'm thinking, who else just had that? Capricorn, maybe. Females had the Nine of Swords as well. Okay, so... <clears throat> Cancer, you guys, um, you're taking a step back because, uh, yeah, you're taking a step back because you're ending a cycle. Um, you have the death card here. You are in a transformation with the death card here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, most definitely. You are going within. You're retreating. You are welcoming and, um, embracing this change, this, this new you, the death of what used to be. And you're finding yourself while in this hermit mode. Um, because you just weren't satisfied with life at the moment. You felt like something was missing. You put in all this work and you weren't, um, getting much back. So you grew impatient, but, but the, the universe is here to give you a gift and you will receive that after you um, complete your transformation into this new person that you're meant to be. And you're finding you're finding success and yourself in this hermit um, this hermit time period. Uh, cancer females, you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. You are drained from all your emotions. You're emotionally spent over um, something that you put much time and energy into. <coughs> Excuse me. And you felt, you feel like you gave and gave and gave and you just weren't give, getting back what you were putting in. You gave this person numerous chances. You, you invested all that you could and you just had to give up because it just wasn't working. Um, so now you are also stepping back from the world and uh, reevaluating your situation, your life. Yeah. The 10 of wands is here. So you are, you are, um, no longer letting this relationship burden you. Um, it is in the reverse. So you're almost there. You're almost at the end of your cycle, guys. You're almost through your transformation. So, um, continue to, to take this time for you 
to find out who you are, what you want, where you're going, what you want to achieve, what goals are you going to make and reach, and allow all the other stuff that's weighing you down to fall away. What's meant to stay will stay. What's meant to be yours will be back if it's not here already. Um, Pisces, amazing, the sun, things being illuminated, um, your path is being enlightened, um, you're seeing clearly now what you're supposed to do, um, Pisces men, you have the seven of pentacles in reverse also, so, um, you're really getting impatient with, with where you're going, what you want to do, um, the sun card in this deck also has the wheel of fortune on it, so, um, you're getting impatient for your good karma to come, but it is here. The sun is here to ensure you to, to, um, give you, uh, the inspiration to keep fighting, to keep working towards what you want, keep putting in the work and you will receive what is meant to be yours. Um, Pisces females, absolutely amazing. You have the sun and temperance. You have found balance in your life once again. Um, you spent a lot of time working on yourself. You uh, weighed your options. You healed in a beautiful way. Your emotions are balanced. Your thought process is on point. Your intuition is popping. You are, my friends, very well. Yeah, you guys are so very beautifully healing at this moment. And it's guided by the sun. Um the cherry is here in reverse. So you're, you're holding back in one area of your life. Um, for both of you, there's something that's going to be illuminated Saturday. That's going to, uh, bring this chariot in the upright and allow you to move forward. But females keep working. You're doing an amazing job. It's in the upright. So you're on the, well, you are on the right path and, um, males just, um, Allow a little more time. Be a little more patient. It's coming for you. Um, whatever it is you're waiting for. Scorpio, you guys are coming out of being single if you're a male. Um, you are dealing with a Taurus female possibly or an earth sign. Um, but really any sign. You guys are getting ready to create a future with this person, a foundation. Um, you have the Empress. So um, you are putting all your thoughts, energy, emotions, all of it in a pretty little package and, and giving it to somebody. And it's a beautiful gift for somebody to have because this is an amazing combination um, because it brings stability. It brings happiness. It brings success. It brings joy. It brings so many things to you, Scorpios. Amazing. Females, however, you are caught up in your headspace at the moment. You're worried and stressed about something. You're worried that Someone either isn't coming home, I'm hearing, or you're worried that um, what's what you want isn't coming back to you. Uh, don't let this shake you up. Don't let this get you out of balance again. Remain solid. Remain um, stable. Allow yourself to um, work through your thought process, but then let it go. Don't hold on to it so tightly because you're getting stuck there. Um, you guys have the hair fit in reverse. So females, this is, um, in regards to a relationship of the past or, um, something you're dealing with, with an authority figure. Um, you're very stressed out about it. Yeah. Very stressed out. It's all going to work out. Um, just give it time. And, um, also, for some of you, you're feeling some depression over a failed relationship and you're vibrating in a low vibrancy and that's just going to continue to bring you low vibrating situations. So make sure you um, get out of your thoughts and think positive. Think, um, think preparing for your future because, uh, because you don't want to get stuck here. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our water signs for Saturday the 21st? Overall, it looks like a great energy. Um, you guys got calling in your soulmate. So you guys um, are 
are manifesting this relationship. Your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations, they are bringing you together. Um, as long as you are working on you, you have to continuously work. You can't give up. You can't be impatient. Um, working on oneself is a daily task. It is not something that you fix one day and then it's done. Um, cause we constantly come into low vibration people, situations, um, whatever the case may be. And so we have to continuously, um, heal. It's a never ending process, but it's a beautiful journey. Um, just think about where you've, where you've come from, how much you've accomplished, how, how much, uh, you've healed your heart and it'll give you the inspiration to, to continue to work forward in the right direction. So if none of those situations um, resonated, we will try another spread. Spirit and Angels, can I get messages for water signs for the 21st in love? These different scenarios than what the last spread just covered. Okay. Pick a side. Um the Empress in reverse. So um, for some of you, it may not be time yet to move forward with a new idea, especially in retrograde season, but um, it's just not quite time to create what it is that you are inspired to create. Um, keep working on your thoughts, your ideas, but don't put it into action just yet because it's not, it's not quite time um, for that. The other side, oops, way too many. The other side has the King of Swords. So um, this person is very, um, very much logical. They think it's black and white, cut and dry, yes or no. Um, they see no gray area. They um, only focus on one side or the other. Uh, they also lead with their head space and not their heart space. So they could be acting cold and aloof to you. Um, and you're not quite understanding why this um, is not having the beginning that you thought it would. Yeah, because you have a lot, this person has a lot of love for um, for this person. They um, could be pregnancy as well. Um, and this person is not so sold on the idea of settling down just yet. That's for a very small few people. But um, the collective of water signs, you guys are just dealing with someone that you have a lot of emotional love for and you're wondering why it hasn't got the start that you thought it would by now. This side, the star in reverse. So um, the answer to your question, it's not time yet. Divine timing is at work here. Um, once the stars align, this is going to come into fruition. This is going to manifest into a relationship, but right now, um, the star is in reverse. So it's just not quite here yet. Um, keep, yeah, keep working. Oops. And that is why, um, you uh, this person needs to allow a change to happen, allow a transformation. There's a, a cycle closing here and they're kind of fighting, uh, the end or they're not doing the personal work, the work on themselves that needs to be done in order for this relationship to, to work, to come together. The person on this side, they are, um, they're trying to heal from some deception in the past. They were, uh, betrayed by somebody. I don't see it as you though, however, um, or whoever is on this. Side. This is somebody that, um, hurt them in the past and they never dealt with their wounds. They never dealt with, um, with the hurt that it caused. So they're, they're nearing the end of this chapter as well. Uh, this is going to close very soon, but not quite yet. It's in the upright or it's in the reverse. Oh, well that just took a turn. Okay. Yeah. This is somebody that you've been with in the past. There was some um, betrayal from this person towards this person. And now they're holding tight to their emotions because they're not sure. They're thinking with their head. They know 
certain things. They know they were hurt in the past. They know that they were betrayed and heartbroken and backstabbed. And they know they're going to put a wall up and keep this person out of it. They're holding on tight to those emotions and not letting anybody in. This person wants a new beginning, wants a new start, wants to create something new. They still have a lot of love for this person. They made a mistake. Um, they're not allowing themselves to transform into who they need to be um, and allowing um, certain cycles to end so they can so they can put their karmic lessons um, in their uh, in their life and then move forward. This person, um, hold on, let me get one more card. Oh, also this person, they're deceiving themselves because they're not allowing this spiritual transformation. So they're really cheating themselves out of a beautiful relationship with spirit and with this person. They're trying to take the easy way out without putting in the work, the self work. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, by yeah, Saturday, um, it's going to be kind of a roller coaster of emotions. I'm not going to lie. They are going to see, they are going to see the end of the tunnel. They are closing chapters out. They are going to allow this uh, death card to come in the upright. This is up to this point where they were trying to deny this. They were trying to keep this from happening. Yeah. And this person is, uh, yeah. Yep. This person, they still have so many feelings for you, but they're holding back. They're holding back their desire to be with you or to be with this person or you are to them until they see a change, until they see that transformation that you have changed because words are cheap. Show me, show me you changed. Show me that you are not that same person that I allowed to betray me. And once you show them that this is who you really are, that you closed that chapter to that past, to that immature energy and show them who you are now and who you can be. Then they're going to come forward. Then they're going to allow things to come back into uh, a relationship with you. But right now they're trying to, to get over their own hurts from the past that this um, situation has, has caused. And with this situation, it is safe for you to love. Um, most definitely on this side, they are having doubts. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe. This person has really trans is really transforming. This person really is going through a spiritual rebirth. They are not the same person that betrayed you. They are not the same person that hurt you and broke your heart. It's safe for this person to love this person. So keep an open mind and an open heart. And don't, don't put that wall up too tall that nobody can, can get over it. Um, the stars are aligning. Things are working in your favor. So be patient, um, have faith, and this will soon be a reunion, um, for the ages. So, all right, water signs. I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. And as always love, light, and God bless.